What's going on guys? Read text message here. Hope I have a wonderful day. Got a random video for you guys. Back with some Harry Potter Magic Awaken. But as you can tell by the title, I should be talking about some pay to win aspects on Harry Potter versus Diablo Immortal. Now, I haven't talked about Diablo Immortal whatsoever on this channel. However, I'm bringing it up now because NetEase has some play in both games. Now, someone actually left a comment the other day asking if Harry Potter was paid to win. And I'm going to be honest, I'm going to say no. Okay, for a few reasons. And I've played this game since October. I've played it pretty consistently. And I think I've done very well. And I haven't spent any money. Now, that's not to say I won't spend money in the future when Global comes out. I probably will for content reasons. However, being completely free to play, I think I'm doing pretty well with legendary cards and whatnot. However, with that being said, you know, there are some things that you can buy in the shops here. And I'm going to show you guys quickly. Give a little rundown. One of them, guys, is this battle pass here. Now, a lot of games nowadays have a sort of battle pass where you get free stuff, which is usually the top row, and then on the bottom, you can unlock it by spending X amount of money, usually between 10 to $20. Now, I'm not gonna buy this on this game right now. When Global comes out, I will, just to show you guys everything that you can unlock. So, you know, that will come when the time comes, of course, for global. But yeah, guys, there is a battle pass that goes all the way up to 100, I believe. Actually, I haven't really checked this out. And it is going to stop at 100, and then you get that little prize there. But if we go ahead and click the bottom right there, it's going to cost you uh, 1480 for some tier skips or 880 for just a regular pass. And that is your premium currency, which you can't see right there. But if we hit the plus right there it's all laid out so essentially if you want the 1480 you're actually gonna have to spend 20 to 25 dollars uh you can do it in 1999 and then do the 799 or if you want the one for 880 that's how they get you because you can't buy let's say a thousand or 2500 you know or uh 1500 i should say they want you to not want you but they have you buying multiple you know packs to get past that 880 or that 1480 so you'd have to buy the 680 and the 300 or the 1280 for a little bit more or you know what i'm saying you have to combine multiple to get either one and that's just for the battle pass all right guys now we're gonna get into where majority of the items that you can buy are which if you go to the top owl right there this will bring you here to where the outfits and everything else is now outfits are completely aesthetic uh, you don't need to buy them to get better or do better at the game some of them on sale and once again that 880 pops up now I will buy outfits in the future just to show you guys for gameplay you know reasons and whatnot but they don't help in game now you can scroll down a little bit more and see special deals and whatnot. It's like this one here with the Hagrid card. Uh, you got library passes and other cards as well. This is where it starts to get a little iffy. But I will say this. Library passes are pretty easy to come by if you just play the game as you would. Every day when you log in, you get login rewards. I'm pretty sure you get... A library pass right then and there I've done a couple openings uh, library pass openings I think two or three of them where I've done, opened up like 40 50 each which just goes to show that you can get them if you play and I don't even play that crazy I really don't but yeah so you could buy some of these and get you know common cards and library passes and hopes to get legendaries but if you grind out the game you could get all that yourself trust okay I'm um, gonna go down one more here and this is where you get into the potions and the keys now the key on the left side there I don't spin that lucky roulette uh, wheel really I don't think there's much need to I think I have probably three or four keys that I've gotten 
I don't even know how, I just have them, you know. Uh, you have other things down here, you know, same type of ordeal. Uh, that's a legendary card, I believe, that you get in four epics. Now, when you're doing something like that, that's kind of pushing it to pay to win. You know, you start off early uh, in PvP or wherever you are, and you already have a legendary card because you decide to spend $20. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of something like that, adding in the legendary cards. That's a little eh. You know what I'm saying? If that makes any sense, guys. You know, two of them there. Uh, I don't know what kind of cards these are. I'm not going to translate. 45 library passes, which that's not necessary at all. It's really not, okay? I'm telling you right now. That is not necessary. But, uh, yeah, guys. So, they kind of throw in these little bundles and whatnot. You get the free thing on the bottom left. Uh, this here, the gold bars, you sort of get kind of, uh, not too easy. But, you know, they pop up enough to where you shouldn't have to buy them, okay? So, overall, for a pay to win on Harry Potter, I would probably say like a 5 out of 10. Okay, honestly and truly, and that's me playing it pretty consistently, free to play only. I'd say five out of ten. All right, now I want to talk about Diablo Immortal. I'm not going to show you guys in game or anything like that, like I did with Harry Potter. I actually do play Diablo Immortal completely free to play, you know, pass by the nights and whatnot. But I want to show you guys and do this comparison because, like I said earlier in the video, they're both they're both developed by NetEase. So some people may be a little worried that it may translate over. Now, as of right now, I'm going to say no. But anything can change, of course. Now, this is a huge thing with Diablo. It's getting a lot of backlash that it's completely pay to win. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. After a lot of what I've read and seen, I'm going to say yes. It is very, very pay to win. Now, just one instance here. A uh, streamer spent $4,000 and could not get a legendary gem where you could buy legendary cards in Harry Potter Magic Awaken for like 10 bucks, right? You could get that one card, the four cards, whatever. Okay, 45 library passes for 40, 50 bucks, right? So something like this, when you're spending $4,000, that is very bad. And you're not even guaranteeing nothing, okay? Harry Potter, you're kind of guaranteed, right? With those legendaries and those epics, taking a chance with those library passes. But if you're spending 4,000, you're not guaranteed nothing. That's a big no from me, dog, okay? 1,000%, and it has a battle pass as well. So it was on stream as well. Uh, they probably have a VOD of it somewhere. Uh, you need legendary gems to basically go through the game in these dungeons and whatnot get better rewards and after a while you stop getting them for free and i believe you have to spend 15 dollars we go to this one here for uh these here so you have legendary crest and you get a few, uh, a few of those for free so you have to buy more cash and then a donny echo to level up gems past certain level and each one is 15 dollars so yeah guys Basically, I kind of want to go more over the Harry Potter stuff because that's the main focus on my channel. Kind of just clear up some, you know, hopefully worries that some of you guys may have about the game. I'm going to say this one here, clear, 10 out of 10, pay to win. Harry Potter, like I said, 5 out of 10. You guys have nothing to worry about. You really don't. But yeah, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. And I'm out, guys. Have a wonderful day. Peace.